beautiful people uh it's a good day the lord has made uh like welcome to my channel um so let's go straight to the news you see there's a lot of madness going on in nigeria that sometimes the media just passes through and people don't even know what is happening uh hopeless Uzodima is uh going around causing a lot of pain sorrow tears and blood to a lot of people in fact, a Reverend Father has done a video to even accuse him of being part of the sponsors of these unknown government and all this madness that you hear. You understand? Go and piece up all the videos. You will see that all these unknown government, this hopeless Uzodima, the governor of uh, Imo State, the Supreme Court governor, has a hand in it. Anyway, let me play the video for you so that you will hear this is the Labour Party governorship um, candidates talking about how hopeless Susodima and his talks which is enabled by the Nigeria establishment is on a rampage. Experience, Imolite, today the 5th of November 2023, six days to the Imo governorship elections, around between 12 and 1 o'clock this afternoon, I was on my way to uh, uh, honor an invitation by the Anglican Church, the Synod, at to be based in you know, where or not. Only to, as we got to the venue, we saw, but as we were approaching, we saw, you know, armed police stationed, you know, strategically in their, their cars. So we were wondering, so what's going on? So as soon as we got there, we saw an APC blocking the entrance to the venue. And Harsh looking armed men, most of them wearing black, some carrying pump packs, some carrying AK 47s. So, and they stopped us, they blocked, they didn't allow us to go. They started shooting in the guys sporadically, scaring the bikers who were leading the convoys. All of them scampered for safety. So, after a, a lot of shooting, I had to, I, I, I came down. I said, Well, I mean, I, I'm, this is if, if, if they can take me because I can't, can't understand why. I can't be allowed to go and worship God in Imo State. So I realized, so when I got there, they now claim, first of all, they claimed that the governor was there. I said that somebody tore APC posters on the wall. So, but the person who approached like them, uh, is uh, Senator Tan, I told them, the person who tore it, they said no. So why are you preventing him from getting into the church premises? So, and I had to come down. I costed one or lack. The notorious Allah of uh, Tiger Bay is fair. The man who has uh, so many lives have been lost in Imo State. And look at what they did to the NLC president. This governor is going mad. I had to call the, the my, 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 uh, 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 the security officer called the DSS uh, uh, director, who said he was there with the commissioner of police. I now asked to speak with him. He called me and said he wants to talk to the officer. Commissioner of Police Imo State spoke to this Allah, Allah disobeyed him and blocked us from entering. Oh, as the shooting continued, I didn't want any life to be lost. I came out and I questioned him. I was pointing at him. I told him that I was going to expose him to Nigerians today. And if he doesn't leave this state today, or let us this by Monday, I'll know that this government wants to annihilate us. So I'm, I'm, I'm putting my president, Bola Metulibo, notice to know what is going on here. This man wants to annihilate the entire state. So he should quickly remove all the security agencies who, who, from here. They are not obeying orders. There's a killer squad in Ohio as well. They have been crying and they call him kill and bury. They've been crying everywhere. It's like a, we're, we're in a war zone. What's going on here for God's sake? Is this how we're going to have this election on, 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 on November 11th? And I hear that the INEC officers even lied to the INEC chairman, EOs, that all the political parties agreed to move all the coalition from ward to, to, to local government. Well, we didn't even have a meeting to discuss that. So you see what's going on. There is a trouble here. Nigerians should know what's going to happen on them. If, if you want to declare war on Imo Light, tell us the Imo Light are ready to defend themselves. Tell us, please, what's going on here? Enough is enough. Are we now in a banana republic that even officers don't obey police commissioners? They don't do any, they don't, no rule of law in Imo State any longer. 
So the, for the next four years, this place will be a wasteland. Already, places have been, mortuaries are filled with corpses. Tiger bears, people drop like flies. And that's where the solar is. He must leave this state to the commissioner immediately. And I next chairman should be put on notice. This no collection should be done outside the World Collection Center. Thank you very much. Hello, beautiful people. Um, so that's the Labour Party gubernatorial uh, candidate for the Imo election, which is uh, supposed to hold on 11, November 11th. Um, so the name of uh, the man that was speaking in that video, his name is uh, Senator Atan um, Achono. You understand? So you see, what I don't understand is that is it that Nigerian leaders don't always understand that there's heaven and hell, there's life and death, there's history in um, in everything they do there is fondness of history that people will remember even after they are gone legacies of everything they do see people still see to today even though yorubas talk about awoluwo talk about how awoluwo made education free for the people of southwestern nigeria that has made uh the yoruba people to be able to be widely traveled studying in various countries in the world have you seen have you, I, I'm, I'm sure you understand what i'm trying to talk people talk about not and as talk fondly about how amadu bello built a lot of institutions in uh, in the northern uh, space when nigeria was still doing the regional type of government while uh what's the name um, there's this particular uh, zik people don't talk fondly of zik in the southeast you understand and apart from that he was part of the people that fought for independence of nigeria people have limited uh um you know accolades of zik people talk more of i think his name is Mbadi. Uh, there's this uh, uh mayor of the uh, southeastern region that did a lot of work in the southeast that people always remember fondly the mayor the the region the mayor of uh southeast then so where where am I stating all these things? Legacies is important. Hopeless or my even his own Olo Olo is from I think it's from Olo that area. It's a war zone. It used to be a war zone. If you follow the uh, or no government history, you know when some people will be telling you that this or no government is sponsored by government. There's DSS hand. Some people they don't used to believe them. I don't know whether you get the point I'm trying to say. Hopefully, you hear where this man was saying it that these people are in the police and they are misbehaving. So when people tell you that DSS is sponsoring insecurity in Nigeria, the Nigerian military and police sponsoring security, know that they are tools to the governor and the president. Look at what Sinibu did in the election to West Lagos too. Because of his his uh, um, uh, uh, freedom, he gave his talks. They killed people of Southeast extraction in Lagos just because they wanted to vote. Look at the madness happening in Imo. Are you going to tell me that life is going to be good for uh, hopeless Susodema and people voting for him? Are you mentally deranged in that Imo? How can you vote for this criminal? Look at what is happening in Kogiya Bello. These are young people mentally deranged and mentally insane you start wondering are these people human beings i don't know do they think they will live forever go and ask pito dili pito dili used to be a governor in uh, rivers where is his name now where is his legacy nobody talks good about him even this wiki misbehaving people will not have good memories about him except if you have criminal tendencies if we say wiki has still has small good image because people will say it was always doing useless flyovers as far as I'm concerned when there are major infrastructural problems in the state. But most people will remember Wiki as, as a dictator, as a villain. I'm telling you. I am telling you. So let, they should continue. You see, Nigeria is a safe haven for criminal establishments. It's a safe haven. But one day, you see that tide. People will not be afraid of dying. It's getting to that point. They should continue pushing people, pushing people, pushing people. One day you will see what happens in all this Arab world. What happened in it is it's getting close. It's getting this one. Even people in the villages will come out. They are not alive again. 
you understand that time i don't know when it will happen but it's gonna happen very soon you know hunger anger and everything and everybody will come out in unison it will be worse than s answers if i'm to predict politicians will lose their lives time will tell this is just if they continue in this trajectory of bullying oppression this kind of thing is to happen in enugu to ebano some of you from Enugu will know what, is, what I mentioned when I say Ebano. Criminality, thuggery, violence, just because people want to stay in power. Why not do the work, do good work, so that people will vote for you? When, uh, what's his name? You see what Labour Party governorship candidate in Imo, uh, Naba is doing in a very short span. You understand? This? If the governor, like other governors, will feel they will just stay there and just relax. In a very short time, he's making tiny progress. Very soon, you see those tiny progress will turn to big progress. It's even less than a year. Tinibu has not even constructed one road. And he's staying... The him and Labour Party candidates started the, almost the same time. Not even one road they have constructed. They should continue deceiving Nigerians that they want to deceive, not me. They can't deceive me. I dislike almost all Nigerian politicians. Even as I support Obi. I still have some things I can criticize about him. You understand? But not in terms of violence. So, all this, I'm not a, because I support somebody, doesn't mean there are not things I feel like he will do better. And as far as I'm concerned, up to now, I've not seen any Nigerian leader that has worked 80%. I'm still waiting for that leader that will improve lives in agro improve the agro, agro, agricultural uh, productivity in the state and make food cheap in the state, improve electricity now that we're having a public-private partnership, do the roads, build schools, world-class, hospitals world-class. I'm still, see, I'm still waiting for that day. Then I will praise that governor. OT is moving in the right direction, but it's too early. Uh, for me, all those things he's doing now is still basic. Time will tell. You understand? Anyway, guys, what do you make of this uh, hopeless Suzodema? Do you think we are we are not we in fact we are already banal but republic? Do you think we are entering into a potopoto republic? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section.